<laughs> squeegee smash? I like it. Yeah, we're gonna call it the squeegee smash. There's supposed to be a picture of uh, the squeegee yeah, right here. Yeah, because we have a character named Squeegee is what's going on and then... Oh, dude, there's a little DDD down there. I like it. That's, yeah, really for, that's for you and Kip. Yay! <laughs> Where's Falco? We have Fox. Wait, we we, we couldn't even have Fox. Yeah, we couldn't find Falco, a good uh, sprite for Falco. No. And we couldn't find a good sprite for Fox either, fortunately. That's actually kind of crazy. That's really like, weird. Like, all you the sprites just looked really ugly, you know? Oh, and they just okay, didn't mesh well with the other ones. All right, here we are. We've got Goon versus Nike. One with the yellow Yoshi against uh, this red Marth here. Marth. No, it's red. That maroon, is maroon. That is red. Maroon. If Don't you think that is that maroon, idea. you are crazy. But anyways, plenty of Marth matchup um, practice plays against me all the time. Let's see how he fares against it. I know I hate the matchup against Yoshi as Marth. Just personal preference. I like to play uh, maybe like Fox or Falco against it. Just to, Yoshi gets out of uh, Marth combo so easily. It's just not even. It's not even cool. But let's see how this Marth fares. Very nice counter. Gets the forward smash. And that's the stock. Yoshi without that double jump. So what I'm wondering here is if Kevin's gonna like be able to tell uh tell like differences between Nike's Marth and your Marth. Or uh, just Marth. Definitely. Just I out. know I know that Nike plays a very uh, different Marth than me. Uh, I played against him before in friendlies last week and uh, He's a very, very defensive player. He really, really oh. <laughs> knows how to make decisions. And here we see a perfect example there that he just knew exactly what to do against Yoshi to stop him from that shield. He's... Oh he's my just God. really looking for the opportunities to uh, take Yoshi's double jump. And he's finding them. He's yeah. finding every single one of them. Yoshi needs to be very careful how he uses his uh, super armor. Nike playing the walking game. I know that's one thing that uh, I noticed about his Marth is that he is a very intimidating walker. <laughs> Every time he walks, you just wanna, you just wanna, you wanna get in shield. It's it's. Marth scary. does have a pretty fabulous walk though. It is, it is. But Yoshi takes it with that down B. Very good stock. Uh, wants to try and get a good combo in here if he wants to stay in this game. The but the up tilt tipper takes the stock at 135 percent. That made me a little sad. Uh, you know, as a Marth player, I, I, I can say I enjoy it. Yoshi with the crouch cancels. Marth trying to trying to figure out where to go with this. This is semis, right? Uh, yeah, this is lose... Whoa, is it semis? This is semis. Yeah, so this will be a 3 out of 5 set. I need to fix that. From, um, from these players. Alright, nice forward smash. Yoshi trying to buy his time on the ledge, but... Ends up falling right off of it. It is a three out of five, guys. Three out of five? Yeah. What round is it? It's semis. Loser semis. Winner semis. No, this is losers. Oh wait, yeah, this is winner semis. That's right. All right. Wondering where uh, Goon's gonna take Marth this time around. Maybe somewhere. Uh, somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where Yoshi would want to go against uh, against me. Maybe somewhere small. I uh, somewhere where Marth isn't going to be able to just like walk you with fucking forward airs. Because <laughs> you know, oh, it's pretty this... much going to be everywhere. But oh, oh okay. switches did. to DDD. Didn't, didn't even the notice DDD the switch. switch. He he's got a lot of practice with this matchup. But there's one thing that I know for sure is that DDD is extremely combo heavy. As soon as you land one hit, it's easy to just keep confirming those hits. <laughs> Right into the dare combo. There we go. There it is. Oh, thought he was going to go for the dare. Tries to get him on the read there. So, Very patient. Very patient with his movement. Even though DDD is just like combo bait, I think that uh, being able to gimp with forward airs after getting Marth off stage will end in like really, really quick uh, KOs. Let's see if he can get him. An unfortunate dash attack. <laughs> The up tilt tipper doesn't take it just quite yet. It's an, it's an up air. Ooh, just trading with this DDD. So, oh, gets the back air to finish that stock. Very, very wise decision from, uh, from Nike. Goon was just trying to find his way back onto the stage. Spaces out that grab perfectly. Ends up on stage. 
There we go, getting those hits in. Trying to get the quick kill with the down air. Just knocking DDD around. Needs to really find an answer to this Marth's range. Can't seem to just find it. And there we go. I'd like to see a, a lot more waddle dashing from our DDD player, but um. in a very unfortunate SD ends in that stock. Alright, moving very... And, uh, uh, this could be the stock. Oh, oh yeah, unfortunate. No, back on. Could have just grabbed the ledge, but really, really wanted to get it. Really fished for that back air, and unfortunately misses. Gets the grab. But Not the re-grab. Oh, doesn't get the re-grab. Marth almost getting hit by that forward smash. But Good use see. of the waddles. Actually hit him while he's needs wadding to, he, he definitely He needs to start using uh, waddles more if he wants to have stage control. Marth is just running around. Running around him, hitting him like crazy, just getting into that shield. No remorse. Baiting out an attack and gets the forward smash. There we go. Marth, very, very convincing lead here. Four stocks to one. Uh, oh, but doesn't have a double jump. Let's see if it. he can get it. Oh, oh but he gets the very the good counter. Air. Hits him with the, f hits him with the tip of the forward smash and gets that forward air to clean that stock up. Are we gonna see a JV four though, folks? Nope. nope. Gets the grab. Ooh, a very, very nice. intimidating waddle with the hammer. <laughs> yes, gets the gets the rocket hammer. Martha's just all over this man though. Oh, jumps right into DDD's grab range and gets goes for the uh, the up beach. And that's a and death. The down air. There we go. Second so game goes second to game. Nike. All right, and just as I thought, Goon switching to Bowser, take him to FD. All right, so I haven't seen much of Goon's Bowser. Uh, uh, I've it, gone against it. A it's something times with my uh, that, as a Marth player, you need to be very aware of that uh, he has. He has those invincibility frames. You want to be very careful with how you approach him and what moves you're throwing out, because he can just whack the hell out of you. What do you but think about Final Destination as uh, being the stage here? I think personally, I think it's a good choice for Bowser because he doesn't give Marth very many options to move around. Kind of has to be straightforward with uh, what he's doing. My, you have to do a lot of mind games with dash dancing, but this Marth is not going to fall for any of Bowser's tricks. I feel like. They would both kind of benefit from platforms, seeing as how uh, Bowser's just Bowser like so would, big. Bowser would take control of a lot of platforms, considering the fact that he is very big. But against a Marth that has fancy movement, you want to be very careful with where you uh, where you position yourself, especially with a big character like Bowser. Very so. Very as wise you said, Nike was playing very defensively. Uh, if he sees uh, Kevin trying to go in for any uh, attacks, he'll just shield him and wait for the punish. Bowser's just not finding any openings. Oh, gets oh. it! It gets the super jump into up air. Still an even game, only a one of five percent difference. Bowser's very, very heavy, so. Around this time, Marth starts hitting him and he starts flying very far. Hopefully, uh, oh, oh, very unfortunate. It goes very low it. to avoid that uh, avoid that neutral B, but it ends up getting hit anyways. <laughs> Spacing out all of his moves very well. Goes for the back air out of shield and hits him with it. So I haven't really seen like a lot of good examples of uh, oh shit. <laughs> to almost takes him all the way across the stage. Oh, let's see. I need V esports. No, no cussing. I'm sorry. Uh, but no, I haven't seen any good examples of uh, Bowser's super armor yet. From no, he's not making very attacks. good use of it. And there he goes, another stock down, just like that. Really, really needs to be very, very careful with how he uses his moves if he wants to stay in this game. Definitely doable. The spacing with the <laughs> definitely doable, but uh, Marth's not gonna fall for any of that nonsense. <laughs> Just walking back and forth, it's so intimidating. It's that fabulous stride. It it really is. Gets him with the side B. 
Has him off stage. Forward Going smash, with the smash. forward smash, but doesn't connect. Uh. Another dash attack, but shields that easily. Shield grab. A solid there hit from go. Bowser, though. We'll get Marth off stage. Maybe not a new. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Forward air takes it. Two more stocks to go. Can he do it? At 74%. Very nice down air to start. Gets hit with the nair. Oh! Another nair. Another nair. Barely grabs that ledge. Gets hit with the second nair. And, oh, oh, very good sweet spot from Bowser. And the and down air down takes air it. it off. Very good 3-0 set from Nike. Good games from both players. Good games, everyone.